This is Airship Dragoon version 1.2. It's an old school, hardcore squad tactics game in the manner of Julian Gollop's UFO, XCOM or Laser Squad. It's somewhat complicated, which is why there are instructions, and lots of them. I'm going to play a single battle, and I'm going to be... You've got six choices of playable faction. I'll play the Americans. You've got three choices of objective for the mission. Now we'll clear the area. Seven difficulty settings. Three task force size settings. How many troops do you get? Basically it's five, ten, fifteen. With a modifier based on difficulty. Technology, level of equipment you'll get, weather, there's four settings, affects visibility and range, and the battleground, temperate, urban, mountainous, if nobody's wearing armour they'll get a minus 10 out of 50, deduction to their action points because it's cold and they need to keep warm, and for arid and subtropical if they're wearing armour, they'll get a minus 10 deduction to action points because it's too hot. We'll go with Temperate, which has no modifiers. There's a deployment screen. We have our money, how many people we can deploy, a list of veterans. Fusilier, Grenadier, Gunny, Maxman, Recky, Sapper, all different classes, have different abilities. Abilities increase. Corporal, Sergeant Major, Lieutenant, through rank. Butch Lubbock, what a guy. Okay, we're going to have Butch for stars. He's going to go on the left flank and he's going to go... Ricky's close range, so he'll go with a Grenadier uh, and a Fusilier. And on the right flank, I'll have a Sapper. Because they can lay down and spot and defuse booby traps. And... I'll have Ju Eugene, Grenadier for a bit more range. And I'll have a Maxman. Right, that leaves us the last four who are going to be the guys in the centre. And we'll have a Gunny, heavy weapons guy, another Maxman, another heavy weapons guy. And another marksman. We'll just check left, right flank, left flank, left flank, right flank, right flank, right flank, centre, 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 centre. Equally, you can take him out and throw in a conscript, but conscripts are rubbish. So we will have one. Where's my marksman? There he goes. Uh, this is equipping you guys. Uh, class weapons are always best for them. Otherwise they have base accuracy, which is 20%, which isn't very good. Rookie is close range, so we'll give him a submachine gun. First aid kit in case he gets hit. And fill him up with ammo. He doesn't need that many rounds, and it's expensive. So we'll give him an electron bomb as well. Grenadier. We'll give him rocket grenade, single shot, high explosive, disposable weapon. We'll give him two of them. And a heavy repeating rifle, which is brilliant for doing damage, has good range, but is a bit rubbish on actually striking things. A fusilier. Carbine, 243 caliber, range 100, max damage 90. Not particularly brilliant, but cheap and cheerful, and at least it's accurate. And we'll also give him a first aid kit and a frag grenade. Ooh, and we'll also equip him with light armor. Now, if you give light armor to somebody of a different class, you get a minus five penalty to their actions. Sapper, petard, is a high explosive, like a grenade, but better. We'll give him a normal rifle, first aid kit. We'll give him a petard, two loads of booby traps, and we'll fill him up with rounds. This grenadier is going to have the same as the other grenadier, so I click on the original grenadier, and go to all class. Copy equipment loadout to all the unequipped troops of the same class. Yes. Otherwise I have to do it all individually. And we don't want to do that. But I'll also, because he's stronger, throw in a first aid kit. And a 
actually filling up with rounds. Uh, Sergeant Major Maxman will give him a nice long rifle. And a first aid kit in case he gets hit. And fill him up with rounds. He's only 20 rounds. That's heavy. 455 five calibre is also heavy. Right, Gunny. Uh, he's only corporal. We'll give him the long range, uh, but incredibly inaccurate. Also rifle. And I'll just fill him up with 303. And this Marksman can have a standard rifle. Gunny here can have a big high explosive mortar. And a shed load of rounds. Doesn't really need that much, so I'll bring it down and give him a first aid kit as well. Alright, deployment. Environment, just to remind you, let's clear the clear the enemy. You can see in spot tag it's up to 300 metres, there's no modifiers. We can end battle and... ooh! Lance Corporal Derek Mesa needs some ammunition. And Lieutenant Paul Dakota doesn't have any weaponry at all. So we go back. There he is, no rounds for him. First up, give him a first aid kit. Then fill him with rounds. He's got rounds. And this guy, uh, Lieutenant, better give him a long rifle. First aid kit. And fill him up with rounds. Okie dokie. Um, we shall select, uh, or randomise, the battle. You can only do this on single battle mode, and not in the campaign mode, where it's always random. And there he is in the normal level section, and this is from the new mod section. Yeah, we'll keep it as random. No, we won't. We'll go for number one. And now we shall commence battle. Commence that battle. Loading, loading. And here we are. And we're against the dastardly, dastardly pirates. But first thing, we need to deploy our booby traps. Okay. That line is showing you the maximum extent forward you can deploy booby traps. Our guys are back here and over here. These are deployment areas. Which, if it goes wrong, I'll be running back to and escaping. And I'm going to stick all these... Yeah, I'll stick them in a fairly central area. Yeah, bloody tree, get out of the way. I'm left clicking to move it. Zoom in, zoom out, your scroll wheel. Right click toggles move about view on the camera. Bloody tree in the way. Deploy. Deploy that. Deploy that. Just a nice little line. And that's that. Excellent. Okie dokie. Three types of movement. Cautious. Which is the best way to move if you want to hit anything. But it's slow. Standard. And charge means you move really fast but can't actually hit anything. It's short range so we're going to make him charge right over there and he's off. Plenty of space there, plenty of room. Get in there. Okay, we're gonna have this guy do the same. Go to move and run along. Over he goes, come on. Uh, yeah, don't hang about too much in the open. Uh, fuse layer. Again, all these guys are a bit close range, so we'll just send him lagging it away. Right, sappers, when they're not charging, can spot enemy booby traps. So we'll send him over normally, where he walks a little bit slow. And move him down there. Right. 
Grenadier is going to charge around this way. Still, get beyond that bit. And the enemy will come from somewhere over there. Maxman. I'm going to reserve his points because he's got long range rifle and if he sees the enemy move in their turn and he has points reserved, he can put a round on them. Hopefully. Uh, the Sim's going to go for Gunny here. He's going to move up there. This is a Sentinel group now. They were basically all support weapons. Make sure of snipers and heavy weapon guys. Uh, that's a fairly short range marksman there, so I'm going to get him to lug it down here. Stop and go down there. Again, he'll reserve points because that motor's got a range of 300, which is maximum spotting distance on a clear day. It's a clear day. And... No, I'll have him run for it. And that's all my guys done. And I'm just going to save it. Nice. And end turn. And now it's the opponent's turn. Hidden movement. Anything could be happening. Well, actually they're beginning to come forward is what's happening. And it's my fizz again. In other words, there was very little chance of me seeing any of them. Or them seeing me or anyone shooting at anybody, so it's basically automated it and virtualized their movement. In other words, you'd have to wait for them to do all the moves. We're going to come down here and we're going to move across there. These blue bits, or bluish bits, are basically impassable. You can't go up them because they're too steep. And we've just spotted two enemies who are absolutely miles away. Right, over on that flank. Far enough away for me not really to have to bother with them on this side. Mm, good idea here, okay. Just move up and keep this flank covered. And the same for Mel Minnesota. Right, over on this side, we've spotted them. There's two, one there, one there, the little dots, 231 metres away. Uh, we'll move up, and we're going to toggle the no-stopping for new targets. So even if he spots anybody else, he'll ignore them and keep going. I can see three of them now. Uh, and I'll reserve actions just in case they get a bit close. 133, and he has got a rocket grenade, single use, range 150. Right, we can have him. So we're going to go to cautious, because it's the best way of hitting anyone. You get a bonus for accuracy, and have some. Ooh, close, but no banana. Alright, we got another one, and this time we're going to shoot automatically by not selecting a target, just hitting it shoot, use, and then I'm going to plant it right on his feet. Hopefully. Get in! Scrub that pilot. Okay, and attempt to get into cover. Uh -huh. My sniper, which I left back here, 246, he can hit him. I can't quite see him visually, because he's pushing the way. But you can spot him. So I automate the shot. Did he hit him? Did he hit him? Was that a new? Mm, not sure. Okay, reload. Ah, I can see him now that I'm looking the right way. Yeah, have it. Oh, 
Oh, it's a massacre. Well done, chaps. Um, going to get this guy to slowly move forward in crouch mode. And cautious. He's spotted somebody 280 away. Yeah, put some automatic fire on him. Mm, massively inaccurate. Hit absolutely nothing. Uh, let's try again. Mm, not really doing anything. Apart from using up a lot of bullets. Uh, I'm going to put a slightly more short range sniper rifle. Down to it. He spotted somebody. I don't know if he spotted that guy over there, but we'll just keep out of his way. And face direction. Right. I've got this fellow here. I'm going to put him up. Put him up there. And hopefully bring a mortar down over there. Okay, 275. Oh, what a shot, sir. Excellent. Uh, uh, not in the fractures to reload. If press info. It gives you a full lot. Need 16 actions. Okay. Uh, next up, Maxman. Hmm. I think everybody on that flank got massacred. Good. Dastardly pirates. And the enemy's legging it. Which means they've either been hit by shell shock from the blast of one of the explosives, or more likely, they've just seen a whole load of the mates get slotted and don't quite fancy being around. That's it. You run. Run away. You cowardly dogs. Where was he? Uh, Oh, they've all had it. Okay, dokie, okay, we go again. Uh, up here. Mm, don't seem to see anybody. Go on, butch. Ooh. Ah! Ah! What? what the hell? Man down! Man down! Ethan Yuan has been very much killed. Mm, right, might not be quite as much of a pushover as I was thinking. Okay, um... Careful. Alright. Ignore him. Just get going. Right, Sapper will move up slowly, checking to see if there's any enemy booby traps. You can see two of them up there. I'll try and run across. Whoa! Um, yeah, out of out of range. Um, never mind. I'll have Sergeant Major John, Joe, even, Eugene. Move up here, uh, I think he's out of range. Might have range 200, yep, yeah. 207. If we move forward a bit, I can get him though. 199, he's in range. Go on, son, you give him some. Maxman, reload, and I'm um, gonna get him to move forwards constantly. Uh, out of range. Right, you can see somebody through all of that foliage over there. So let's put some rounds down. Yeah, mind that guy in front of you. And reload. 
Yeah, and move up a bit. A bit round. Uh, marksman, how is it? 150. That guy should just about be in range of that. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's him. Ooh, wounded him. Also, blood spit up then. Yeah, hit him again, but you hitting him low. Oh, nice shot, sir. Got him in the head. Uh, we'll reload our big old mortar chap. Send him off over here. He spotted someone over there. You've hit a tree. You can't reload. Okay, what have we got? One guy, 161. It's I saw blood come out. Of course, they may have armor, which will substantially reduce damage. But not enough. Well done, Mr. Decurter. Okay, let's end that turn. Ooh, somebody's gone mental with something very explosive. When enemies, or even your own troops, panic, they don't just run away. Sometimes they start blazing away in an indiscriminate and exceptionally dangerous manner. Exceptionally dangerous to your own guys, and pretty much everybody else around. But if they can see an enemy, they will go for them, regardless of whether they are actually in range or not. And uh, talking about being in range, this guy's... F what's that? Submachine gun, 243 caliber, range 100. He's 15 meters out of my line of sight, but I can close that distance. Okay, matey, I see you. He's right there. Hit him! You've put the bullets around him in a circle. That's quite incredible, actually, but not very useful. Whoa! Whoa! And his reserve fire's kicked in. Okay. Get up there. Go on, Mel. Uh, no, can't quite see him for me. Aha. Uh -huh. No, he won't. Well, he's just somewhere on the other side. Out the way, tree. Okay. There he is. Dastardly pirate scam. And you've put them both over to his head and you can't move because you're out of action points. Pro tip, try not to get shot. Right, and we'll send Mitch to poker. Sapper. Up here. Uh, might go over there. And yeah. Looks like they did not deploy. I'm going to keep Sergeant Major Joe Eugene exactly where he is, covering this area. If the enemy move in their turn, he should hopefully be in the right, correct range to hit them. Right, where the hell is this? Greg Colorado. All the names are done in surname being in territory, locality of the regime, while the first name, forename, is basically a given name. Uh, that includes the Chinese and Zulus, so it's given name, surname, though obviously Chinese and Zulus actually have the family name first, in real life. But this is not real life. Um, I'll keep him where he is, he can cover that. Um, he can move up slowly and see if he can spot another enemy. I don't want to go too close to my own booby traps. I can walk into them and nothing will happen. But if somebody throws a grenade at you, it's likely to set them off. Relet. Relet. And we'll see what happens. I think the enemy is going to freak out. Yep. He's, someone's gone mad and shooting, someone's running away. Yeah, you run, Charlie. Whoa, calm down, son. Ooh. He got shot at. But nobody hit much. Whoa. And Mel's looking pretty lucky. Oof. Everything's gone over his head. It's player phase five. 
Right, I can see two enemies. Neither of them are quite in range, so we'll have to move a bit. I've got one enemy in range, there he is. Hit him! Yeah, hit him in the legs, he's not down yet. Yeah, take that you rebel scam! Nice one, Butch. He's a larker. And he goes down here a bit. Right, Mel's moving down, and we've really penetrated the left side here. So, our left flank team, apart from taking one fatality, are moving up and right in the, the enemy deployment zone here. We're going to wipe them out. Hopefully. Unless there's some sort of incredible comeback. Which hopefully there won't be. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I've just spotted four people in this one dastardly pine with the... That's me. And that's him. Right, um... 29. He's close. I'm gonna pet out him. Pet out. It's like a gigantic bomb. Huge hand grenade. We gotta arm it. And now it's ready to blow as soon as it drops. So let's not throw it at our own feet. Yeah, I'd say you got him, mate. You got him good. Down there, sonny. Okay, um, your old position. You move up there. up a bit. Ooh, Dexter Roswell. Okay, we're going to run through our uh, minefield, basically. We can go through them, they won't explode. But we don't want anyone throwing a grenade. Ooh, we're still a bit close if one of them goes up from enemy fire. You stay where you are. And you stay where you are covering him. Okie dokie. What are they doing? I think they're running. Are they running? Have they had enough? No, they haven't. They've come out. Oh dear. They've come out. No, you've just shot one of your own blokes! Lieutenant Paul Dakota has been killed by Dexter Roswell, who's an idiot, and now he's gone insane and started shooting everywhere because he's just topped his mate. You blithering idiot. Oh, yeah. And friendly fire does happen. Which is why you have the reserve actions button. Because if you've got a guy in front and a guy behind, you can make sure that the guy behind doesn't reserve actions and he won't automatically shoot if he spots an enemy during the enemy's turn. Oh dear. Alright, the rest of you calm the hell down. And get moving up there. Come on, we've only lost two guys and we've walloped them. 114, where's he? He's down there. Uh, 109. Uh, go get him. We've got anybody in range yet? No. 93. Uh, where? Oh, yeah. There? Uh, yeah. There. Go on, hit him. That wasn't very good. No, oh, he is only a Lance Corporal. I'll explain that, then. Um. Alright. Sapper here. He's only 50 away, but Sapper's that. Particularly renowned for being brilliant shots. Yeah, you've hit a train. Ooh, you've missed. And, ooh, hey, that was close. Over his head, but... Um, yeah, run away. Uh, you get up there and try and help that sapper. Can... Ah, good. Seen him. 127. Hit him. Not really very good. Marksman. Hello, hello, hello. Sergeant Major, Greg Colorado. 
61 accuracy. Come on, surely you can nail him from here. And he can! What a fantastic shot, sir. Oh, sorry, you're a sergeant major, you're not an officer. You work for a living. Right, uh, Gunny's completely panicked out after topping his friend. The blithering idiot. That might just be enough to convince the enemy that they're going to have a very, very bad day if they stick about. Uh, and he'll stay there, covering anybody he sees. Right. Ah! Oh! Oh dear! Oh god! But, right, one of them went mad and shot my guy dead. Which isn't exactly brilliant. Okay, I've lost another fella. Was he kill Oh no, he's critical. I can save him. And we will. He's there, lying down with this um, Maltese cross rotating over him, which means he's critically wounded. Ignore them. Come ignore them. Get in there. We can be medivac We need first aid. And we'll use it. First aid is Lieutenant Butch Lubak and Lance Corporal Mel Minnesota is exclamation mark, he's critical. So we'll heal medivac him. And he has been saved! Um, unfortunately Butch has kind of left himself a bit out in the open here. Uh, he's got two, can we... No, no we can't get into cover with two action points. Okay, uh, Sapper, get the hell back up there. Gotta save Butch or Butch will get shot next turn. Pretty sure that's him down there. Go on. Oh dear God. Uh, never mind. Never mind. You know these things happen. Um, actually, we reload. Oh, we just used most of our action points up doing that. Uh, can't move now. Never mind. Uh, I'm confident that we can still sort this out. Just send our troops forward. We've got them boxed in on this corner. There's probably only a couple of them left. Oh. And I forgot to put action, reserve action points, so he hasn't got anything to shoot with. Yeah, bloody idiot. I'll put him down there. Uh, marksman. You might as well stay where you are. Right, have you stopped panicking, you imbecile? Ah, uh, yeah, reserve action points just in case we see somebody. Get going. Maybe Derek Mesa can help you. He's already got one kill. And he's a bloodthirsty maniac and he wants another. Which he will be getting this turn. Uh, and Gunny might as well stay there. With his big old mortar. He spots enemy movement and gets shot at. But the guy missed. He's spots me. Whoa! He's missed as well. You're getting lucky here, chaps. Ah, oh, nice. Right, time to re-equip... Uh, actually, how far away is he? Mm, too far for an electron bomb. We'll go with a submachine gun. Uh, reserve actions, so that you can actually stop and shoot. Ooh, and a bit more. That'll do. Right, 98, there he is. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he winged him, but it is light weapon, and if the guy is wearing armor, a headshot will only do 10% damage. And all those rounds managed to go up either side. That's quite extraordinary. Get into cover before you get killed. Okay, we've got Sapper again. Um, who's not really got much more. So we're gonna crawl forward. Come on, he's only 73 away. Missed. Oh, missed. Wow, well, that's quite incredible. Never in the field of human history has one person fired so many shots and hit absolutely nothing. 
All right, all right, let's do this. Come on. 101, he's down there, in his own. Come on, nail him. No, oh, out of the rounds. Um, reload. Uh, maximum too far away to do anything. Go on, son, run over there. You better make up for shooting your own man dead. Couple, but you are a marksman, so show us what you can do. That wasn't very impressive. Neither was that. Okay, no pops. Just uh, get you a down there. Um, you might as well stay where you are. <laughs> ah! Oh dear. Whoa! The swine got me! Oh, hang on. Okay, this could have gone slightly better. Anybody in range? Yes, almost. Uh, go on, butch, hit him. No. Have a round. Manually, come on, that's rubbish. Go hard behind that tree again. Right, where's the other fella? No, you can only see about. I can only just see the top of his head. Uh, let's try hiding over here. Yeah, that's the worst attempt at hiding ever. Uh, okay, just in case everybody gets murdered, I better send some reinforcements up there. Well, we were going swimmingly, having only lost one man. The whole thing seeming to be over before Christmas. Uh, and now I've had a whole load of guys shot dead. And there's just two of them camped in there, ferociously fighting off my not incredibly brilliant advance. I hope if some of these people could actually hit the bottom side of a barn. 79. Oh, come on. Ooh, I saw blood fly up, but not really very good. Okay, sprint over there. Go on, leg it. Leg it as fast as you can. Oh, there's no point reserving actions. And N10. Ooh. Yeah, you run away. Right. Things not quite as bad as they uh, looked then. Okay, a bit less. Right, ninety six. Come on. So I know he can't shoot back. So I'll just uh, move a bit closer. Then Helen. Mr. Evil Pirate. Take this, you rebel scum. <coughs> yeah, good shot, mate. Right, where's the other one? Right over there. 
Oh, double kill. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. And that should be absolutely that. The worst marksman in history. Down here. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Has he got anything? Ooh, he's got a better rifle than you have, mate. Uh, I'll use inventory. Add. Or drop. Or use. And load, and just for a laugh, we'll hell this grenade. Okay, let's end turn. And... Minor victory. <sighs> I killed all of them. Uh, and lost 40% of my own guys. Um, also, my guys were better equipped. And I spent more than I recovered. And the troop status is... Lieutenant Butch. Butch. Oh, he survived and has been promoted. Uh, Eugene, first guy who got killed on the left flank. Mill Minnesota, who was critically wounded, has been rescued and is in a hospital somewhere. Mitch got killed. He got killed, but he got killed himself. Uh, most successful guy here was Joe Eugene, the grenadier, who got three kills and has a promotion. Uh, Such a major Greg Colorado, two kills. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Derek Mercer. Promoted with a kill. Sergeant Major J. Miami. He got a kill. And so did Paul Dakota, but he was himself killed. And this is what the guys now look like. So who got promoted? Um, Butch Lubick. Which I believe is in Texas. He's now a captain. Uh, we don't have anybody to recruit because we didn't have any conscripts. And that is how you play that. And it's also got the instructions on every page and every screen. And it is complicated, so do read them. Bye!